In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can improve your video conference experience with one device. This is the Anchorwork B600 video bar, and let me show you everything it can do. This is really cool because it's the all-in-one device. It's actually four different products in one, so you'll be able to plug this into your computer and have it instantly work with all the different video conferencing apps or even video apps if you just want to use it as a camera on your computer. So this has a few features called Magic Sight, Voice Radar, AI powered 95 degree field of view, and it does have four microphones, which is really cool. So one of the things I really like on this is the light bar right there. Um, it's really great because you're not always able to have good lighting in front of your computer, wherever it may be. So we'll get into all of that, but let's go ahead and get this unboxed. So the first thing is there is some software you can get at software.anchorwork.com that will allow you to adjust some settings as well as get the latest firmware. And then here it comes with a quick start guide and just some other information. Now here in the box, it does come with a USB-C power cable. So you will use this to power the video bar. And then here we can plug in the appropriate plug there. And then it also comes with a USB-C to USB-C cable. So if you don't have USB-C on your computer, you just need to find a USB-A to USB-C to be able to get it to work appropriately. Then here we have the video bar and this thing is pretty beefy. First, let's take that off. So starting off on the bottom here, you do have a tripod mount. So that's a quarter inch mount that you could uh, add or attach a tripod to. And then this will attach onto the back of your computer. So it has this nice soft touch, so it's not going to slip around. And then you can rotate it here as well as here. So you can even set this up like this and that will work um, just on your desk or wherever you want it to be. And then in here, you can tighten it up if you need to or loosen um, the mount itself, but very versatile there. So then next, you have a security plate here, so you can easily pop that open and then it has view of the camera. So if you want to hide, you can just simply close that and that will be secure. And then you open it up. Here you have the LED light bar and this can go from cool to warm temperatures. Then here on the side, you have brightness, so you can adjust the brightness of the bar. And then you also can turn that light on and off with the touch button over here on the side. And then right there in the middle, you have your 2K HD camera, which has a 95 degree adjustable field of view. So in the Anchorwork program, you're able to adjust that field of view. Then down here is where you have all of your different microphones. So down here, you will have an LED. It's blue if it's working properly. It will be red if your mic is muted and it will flash red if you are using the wrong cord to plug it in. And then over here on the side, you do have a mute button, so you can mute it there, or you could use the program that you're wanting to, to mute. And the light bar also acts as a security bar. So when you go like that, it then turns off the camera so that nobody can see you. Now around the outside here, we do have a speaker that is built in. And then on the back, you have the power cord. So that's where you're going to plug in this. And then here we have the USB-C that's going to plug into your computer. And then you do have a USB here on the side where that is going to allow you to add some peripherals. So if you have a mouse or you have some headphones that plug in via USB, you would be able to plug them in there. Just got to make sure they are compatible. So let's go ahead and plug this into our computer and get it set up. So the first thing you need to do here is plug it into power. Now this power cord is about four feet long. It would be nice if it was a little bit longer, but it is able to do the job. Then we're going to plug that here into the power. And then next we're going to take the other USB-C cable, plug it in here, and then I'll plug that into my computer. All right, so let's go ahead, open that up. So depending on how thick your monitor is, or here we're using a laptop, so it's really thin, you wanna push this closer so that it doesn't lean so far back. Then I just need to plug in the USB-C cable right here. And now that has been set up. So next let's head to the web. And we're gonna to head to software.anchorwork.com. Once you go here, you will see two options. You can download this for a Windows PC, or you can download this for Mac OS. So we're gonna download the Windows version and wait for that to download. And then we're gonna go through the installation process. And then I'm going to update the firmware in the Anchorwork app. Okay, the update has been successful. Let's go ahead and make this full screen. So here it's showing the camera is currently off because it is closed. 
but if we open it up, <laughs> there we can see it instantly start working and that is actually pretty clear. So if I do need to adjust the angle, I can rotate this. So I can rotate it left or right to change my angle. And then if I wanna go a little lower and go there, or I can tilt it forward and back. So you really have a lot of versatility with the camera there. Now next, uh, you can see that the bar automatically turned on when I open this up, so that's really cool. But let me show you some of the settings you can adjust. So first off, let's talk about the features that you have right on the bar. So if I want to change the brightness of my video bar, I can simply change the brightness right here. So that's a little touch brightness, which is pretty cool. So I do have a lot of lights in this room, so you probably can't see the difference there. I'll test it out in a minute how it works with just those lights. Then the next option is I can turn on and off the bar right here. Then next we can mute the microphone. So you can see the blue light there. When I touch that, now it is muted. So you would not be able to hear me if uh, you were on the other end. So I tap that again and there it is now unmuted. Let me show you the settings. If I come here to this option, you can change the resolution. So right now it is set to 2K. If I do change the resolution, so let's go ahead and choose 360 degree, you can see that the quality is quite lower. So, and this would be helpful if you are on a lower bandwidth. So let's say you don't have as fast of an internet connection. When you choose a lower resolution, it doesn't have to send as much data so that it, your video would come across uh, better. So if you have a great internet connection, you wanna come in here and increase the size. So here we're at 1080p, looks great. Uh, 2K definitely looks the best just because overall it is a very nice crisp looking video. But uh, if you do need to save some bandwidth, you can jump down to 360. Still looks good, but it's just gonna be a little more grainy. Then you can change the angle. So here we have the 65 degree angle, 78 and 95 degrees. So that's the full you can get. And then we have what's called solo frame. So solo frame actually allows it to automatically adjust and find you so that it can fit you in the frame. So if I move over here, you can see that it kind of zooms in. If I move over this side, so maybe if you're walking around the room, this would allow it to adjust to get you in the frame. There you can see it's kind of moving all over the place. So we're just gonna keep this. Um, I kind of like, I like the 90, 78. And that kind of depends on how much zoom you want it to be on your face. And then you have an option for anti-flicker, but uh, right now I don't need to enable that. So you have 50 Hertz or right now it's at 60 Hertz. Then the next option here is you can adjust the settings. So you can adjust the image settings. So we have brightness. So if you wanted to, so if you wanted to tweak exactly what your settings are, so there you can change the brightness. Here we can change the sharpness. Here we can change the saturation. So it's nice that these are built right in to the camera settings. There we have the contrast ratio. And then you can also do a horizontal flip. So that's going to change the camera to be the opposite way. But uh, right here, we're gonna keep it that way. And then last, we have the light settings. So here for the bar, we can adjust the brightness. So there it's dark, there's medium, there's bright. You can get incremental with what that is. Then we have the color temperature. So here it's on cool. Then we have a little more warm, a little more warm. And then we have the warmest temperature there. You can see as I change the brightness, that stays there. Then you have the option to turn on the light so it's always on, or you can have the light automatically adjust. And so as how this works is by recognizing the brightness of a person's face, the light brightness is automatically adjusted so that the video picture has better performance. So that's kind of cool if you want it to automatically adjust the light. Um, I'm gonna keep it on the cool temperature there. So those are the settings you get with the Anchor Work video bar. Let's go ahead and show you what this actually looks like. So here is the Anchor Work video bar. This is exactly what it will record and what the audio sounds like coming from the video bar. Now I have other mics in here, but it's not using any of those. It is coming from the mic or mics on this device. Now you can know that because when I and then I unmute it and now you can hear me. So right now the light is off. Let's go ahead and turn it on. And I think it's already set to automatically go to full brightness. There we go. So you probably can't notice a difference. 
So now let's do a test where I'm gonna turn off the lights and you can see exactly what it looks like with this light. All right, so here we are, <laughs> all the lights are off. This is what uh, my face looks like just by using my monitors in front of me. Um, I'm gonna turn on a white screen so you can see the white screen even improved how I look. Let's go ahead and turn on the light from the video bar. Just like that, <laughs> that looks so much better. So here again, this is with kind of a black background on my laptop and this is what the video bar looks like. So let's go ahead and turn down the brightness so you can see how much of an improvement that bar makes. And so I can actually kind of adjust the angle. You, you wouldn't wanna adjust it down too far, but that is what you get without any other lights in the room with the video bar. Let's go ahead and change the color range. And here is the video bar on the warmest light bar settings. So this just depends on what kind of lighting you like and you can change it to have kind of a mixture I like the more cool look. So I did some further adjusting. This is the second color temperature. And then I also increased this to the 95 degree field of view. So you can see how much further you are able to see and more of my room. Now I am sitting probably about two feet away from the camera. You know, if I wanna come back here, uh, hopefully you can still hear me. This is a good mic test right here. And I'm just so impressed by how light the room is from just the light bar on the uh, camera there. So this is the 95 degree field of view, so that means you're getting the full resolution. Let's go ahead and dive it into a more zoomed look. And here is the 65 degree field of view. So you can see with staying two feet away, it then was able to zoom in a little bit more and still is a pretty high quality. And looking at the camera right now, it's pretty black, like I can't see it, but I do like that it has that blue light. So I know the camera is right above there. So I know where to look so that I can look directly at you. And then I also increase the warmth on the light bar a little bit. So this is kind of what it looks like. Now, when you do get a little dark, it does have a little trouble focusing, um, but once the video bar turns on, then it's able to find me without any issues. And if I turn on the other lights or even have just a secondary light, um, like let's turn this on. So there I can add a secondary light and that does make it a little brighter in the room. And typically you're gonna have a ceiling light or whatever. So just having a little more brightness will definitely help the overall quality. But again, super impressed with the light that comes from the light bar. All right, let's go ahead and show you what it's like to do a video call. So I'm gonna use Google Meet right now. Just going to choose a new meeting, start an instant meeting. And then here I can invite others. So we're gonna do that in just a bit. But right now it's like, what is this showing? This is not what I want to have it show. So, so what you wanna do is click the little menu here and you click on settings and then I can choose my audio. So I'm going to choose the Anchor video bar. So that's the microphone. And here I'm gonna choose my speaker, which is the Anchor Work B600 video bar. Then I'm gonna to go to video here. And instead of using the integrated camera, which <laughs> That's the camera right behind the video bar there. I'm going to go ahead and choose the Anchor Work video bar. And then you can adjust uh, to have audio resolution send or high quality. And then I can also adjust to have high quality resolution received. So let's go ahead and test that out. <laughs> That looks great. So my video calls are definitely going to be a lot better now that I have this. So let's go ahead, turn on the light there, just add a little bit more glow. And now we're ready to go. Now my laptop has a built-in camera, a built-in microphone, and um, some of those controls to adjust some things, adjust the brightness of the screen and so on. But what if your computer doesn't have any of these controls? Well, my parents actually only have a monitor that doesn't have anything attached to it. So for them to join a video call is pretty much impossible since they don't have a camera. So I actually set them up with one of these as well. And then let's do a video call with my dad to see exactly how it looks. Oh, look, Mr. Bristow wants to join. Let's go ahead and admit him into the meeting. Can you hear me now? I can hear you. I can see you. I can see me in the bottom right corner. All right, welcome to the first video call on your computer. What do you think? <laughs> well, it's looking good. It's full screen uh, and I see good, nice color and everything looks great. So have you ever been able to do a video call from your computer before? 
Never have, not this one. Why not? I've always had to use my laptop, and it's small, and I have to bend down like this. Yep. This is a nice big screen, and we have, we it didn't come with a camera, it didn't come with a microphone, and we've never added anything to it. And now we've got this thing on top of our monitor, and uh, hopefully it does its job. Could we have gotten a new monitor, and it would have had everything built in? Uh, you could have, but I think this is kind of a better option because um, it has it's higher resolution than buying a new monitor, and the monitor usually only has a small resolution camera on there, and then you know it's, does it have the mic, the video, you know the the light. All of that is in this one device, which is pretty cool. And the sound quality sounds good? Yes, sounds just normal. I yeah. wouldn't expect anything better. Yeah, I hear you loud and clear. Um, and the speaker's coming right from the video bar as well. So it has a speaker built into it. I would have never have known, <laughs> noticed that. <laughs> so it's, it, just sounds, it sounds like it's coming right from your mouth. Yeah, so it, it, there you go. So I did test between it, it as a speaker versus your other sound system. And for like music and stuff, the other sound system sounds great. Um, but this definitely does a great job just for little video calls. And the, the audio comes through really clear. And it is like we're like sitting in the same room. Uh, right. It's so crisp and clear. So does this automatically come on when I go to Zoom? Yes. Or do I have to turn something on? I think the first time you might have to turn it on and you need to go to like the camera settings like we did to check that it's working. But once it's working, the next time you turn it on, it will continue to work this way. Okay. And now let's say you don't want to talk to me anymore. Turn down the cover. Turn down the security thing on the video bar. Let's see what happens there. All right, can you still hear me? I can hear you. Okay, and I can hear you. So the mic still work, but it no longer shows me your video in case you want to hide. And then, okay, um, okay open that back up. Sorry. Thanks, Mr. Bristow, for joining today's call. Hey, happy to do it. <laughs> <laughs> we need to do some filters on here. Do you know how to do filters? Does this come... Does this come with the camera? No, this is all built into Google Meet. Oh, there I've you been go. Here before. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> but it's, oh, this is a movement. Wow. Yeah, that's cool. Oh, the kids would love that. Uh huh. Okay. You're on vacation. How how is the vacation? Yes, <laughs> Get a pina colada or something. Too bad there's no face effects on this. I know. I could, we could try Google Duo. I can, I can still do face effects. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you. You bet. Okay. Have a good one. Bye. So let's go ahead and do a speaker test. I'm gonna start by playing it through the video bar. In my smart home tour last year, I showed how in this bathroom, the lights automatically come on whenever you enter the room. And that's because I have a smart things motion. Pretty computer. crisp and clear for so audio. Or connected to a smart things hub that works with. And here's compared to their smart system. Light switch right here. So that's a lot of work. But in today's video, I'm gonna show you one device that can do it all. Now the system we have here can definitely get louder than the video bar but it's a little more muffled because it's more bassy. All right, now going back to the video bar. Now compared to the sound system here, it doesn't have as much sound, but I like how it's crisp and clear. So I was curious if I can use the video bar with other devices. So it does work on PCs as well as Macs or Windows devices, but does it work on other things? So here I have an iPad Pro, I plugged it in. I didn't really see anything happening. Maybe uh, I don't have the right apps to use it, but I didn't see it working in here. Um, here on my Android Tab S7 Plus, 
it didn't work as well. There's no way to change the video you're using in like Google Meet and other things. And lastly, here I have a Pixel Book which uses Chrome OS and plugging it in over USB-C, it did work. So just like on the computer, on Google Meet and things, I was able to turn the camera on and the mic on and even the speaker on on this device, which is really cool. So if you have a Chromebook, you're able to quickly improve the quality of that with the video bar. So after spending some time with the B600 video bar, I really think this is a perfect all-in-one solution for video conferencing. Uh, for my setup, I thought it really improved the camera that I had on my laptop. Having this then makes it just a whole world of difference. If you are looking to improve the video quality of your laptop, I think this is a perfect solution because it has the better video. It has this light bar, which as you saw in the dark room, it improved the lighting so much so that you have a much better looking video. Cause that's one of the problems with many of the cameras today is if you don't have good light, they just don't work great. So having this light bar and being able to easily turn it on and off and adjust it really makes a huge difference when you are doing a video call or live streaming or whatever you wanna do with this device. I really like that it has all those on-screen controls where I can simply mute the microphone like that. I can then simply close the camera for security purposes. And then I like how it's very simple. You got the power and then the one plug into your computer and then how this mount is so versatile. So putting it on my laptop, it did make the laptop flex a little bit just because the hinge isn't super strong and this is quite heavy. So if I did want to have this in a more permanent solution, I would go ahead and get a tripod that I could put this on so that it's standing alone and then it didn't wobble as much because with my laptop, it did wobble a bit. But if you have a more firm monitor or something that you're going to attach this to, this can really be such a great solution to help you have better video conferencing and video calls with that camera built in. Now for my parents, I love how something like this can instantly solve all the problems where they didn't have a mic, they didn't have the camera, they're in a kind of a dark corner of the room. This is able to fix all that, having this great camera and the mic and even a speaker if you don't have speakers on your computer, that is able to solve that problem as well. So if you have any further questions about the B600 video bar, please let me know in the comments below. And if you'd like to pick one up, you can check out the link in the description below as well. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you on the next one.